When I started painting with pastel, I don't worry about the details. That's the beauty of this medium. I can mess up the whole area in the painting and work on the details later. Hi, I'm Siti Nirati from Siti Nirati Studio. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the steps on how I complete this pomegranate painting with pastel. So let's get started. I start by layering the first wash with bluish gray. Do this to both the background and the foreground. Next, I want to create patterns on the foreground. So I just make a mark with orange so I can come back later to work on them. After I layer ultramarine light, I use bluish gray to smooth out the background. Right now, I'm just building up the colors. For the foreground, I layer the orange marks with raw umber. Then I darken them with mouse gray and blend the colors lightly with bluish gray. I highlight with white at the edge of the foreground and smooth out the areas with turquoise. I begin with layering raw sienna on the front of the pomegranate to mark the yellow areas. Next, I layer half of the fruit with burnt umber. Then layer permanent rose on the darker area. Next, use carmine and this time layer the whole fruit. Add Mars violet to bring out the dark value on the fruit. Adding more layers of colors help to bring out the thicker shades of the fruit. Next, I layer Matter Lake Deep to give a lighter shade on the front and the top of the fruit. Then layer permanent rose and white and blend carmine over them. To darken the bottom part of the fruit, I layer black and Mars Violet, and I also darken the shadow underneath it. I detail the top and the front side of the fruit with raw sienna. Detailing for me takes much longer than what I can show in this short video. So in short, I go back to those colors I previously layered and add more to give a richer color on the subject. To clean the edges of the fruit, I use bluish gray to cover the messy edges, then smooth it with my finger to make the edge crisp. I also add more shadows under the fruit and layer more colors on the foreground for more dimension. This finished painting of a pomegranate took a few more layers and details to make it more realistic. Do you have questions about this tutorial? Post them in the comments below. I hope I've inspired you through this video. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to CT Nirati Studios blog. Let me help you unlock your creative side so you can start working towards becoming the artist you always dream of being. I'll see you next time and thank you so much for watching CT Nirati Studio.